New secrets in Brookhaven of 2024, and let me tell you, these get rather odd, and some of them are even suspiciously scary. From blood secrets to crazy agency, this is no joke. And we're going to be going over all the new secrets of 2024 in today's video, because, well, face it, guys, 2024 has been full of a lot of crazy new secrets in Brookhaven. And, uh, well, a lot of RP sets and a lot of houses have added into Brookhaven new things that we never thought were possible. And in this video, we're going to be going over all the new secrets that we know so far and it's gonna be insane so hit the like button like spike it up to the heavens and beyond upside down and all around let's go ahead and get this started guys Ooh, it's gonna be crazy to become next okay we've done spider-man we've done flash now what superhero should i be next leave it in the comment section below and now today without further presentation we're gonna get into it uh this is about the new superhero hideout now if i'm flash i need to have one of the best hideouts around that i can zoom in real quick in a split of a second and zoom out so uh let's get on to that so we're gonna go up here and we're gonna build this next to the church because it's gonna be a whole we're good you know we're, we're very on the good side so we need to be next to the church here okay so that be the case though we have uh everything in this new house this is like a three-story house it, well it fools you into thinking it's a three-story house the reason why i say that there is no middle layer actually so when i first seen this house i as well thought it was a three-story house but it's just this the basement and boom that so technically it is three stories but i don't know if you want to count the basement but yeah there's also this empty room right here uh kind of like they're kind of like empty little parts now i actually haven't tried glitching in these but i don't think you would really it would do you any good to glitch in those there's not really much room in there uh and it's just part of the foundation of the house and i think it is just where the elevator goes up right here right so yeah that'd be the case there's not much there and uh it is just kind of like a vacant middle area of the house now if we look around the exterior of the house is there anything abnormal is there a secret entrance outside well i actually have not looked um so if we come around here, sometimes in houses or estates, there's secret places outside that you can drop down in and, uh, well, you can gain access to a secret entry anyway. So I don't actually see nothing right away, but I figure we would try it at least, okay? Yep, looks clear. Everything's clear. Of course, we can open our garage just by pressing this. And don't forget, just like with every house, you can actually name it. So we're going to name this Flash flashes hideout okay so boom we can do that we can change the color of this house to red of course so that is actually only going to tint the windows from the outer point red so you can change the w window uh tint red and it changes a couple pillows as well in the house uh, down below it does change the computer touch screens to red as well it basically just puts like a red tint on everything in the house so don't forget that feature is there the premium uh doesn't do anything for an rp set so the house security cameras are normal as well you can close the windows if you need some privacy up in the suite um so that's cool as well so now we've been over that let's actually get into the house into the good stuff and some of the secret rooms and everything that this place holds yes it holds secret rooms and i'm not talking about the safe location but we will be showing that for the sake of this since this is kind of like all secrets but um over here you have your panel where you can actually activate your disaster packs or anything this is really cool if you have the disaster pack you can make this place into a haunted superhero or you could have a gas leak uh, i mean zombies could try to invade it there's a lot of cool superhero role plays that can be done here uh if you're like me this little section here is going to come in handy when people are constantly putting a ton of props in your house so that's useful and you can even do the baby prop thing there so like i said these computer screens are actually touch screen so if i sit down and start using one of these you're going to notice it's actually all touch screen so that's kind of cool and high tech these little fans over here you can actually stop by just pressing them you cannot jump behind them or anything but still it is kind of cool that that's there also you can kind of stand behind this uh, i don't i don't know why you would want to do that but you can um so yeah uh, you can shrink yourself and hide in a couple corners or everything there now you would notice there is something you can press on this touch screen here and this activates this center piece here which uh well once we do that it puts a, a huge glow so we can kind of stand here and power up our superpowers or charge up our suit or something i don't really know what this is used for really but if you guys know you can let me know in the comment section below but it's pretty darn cool for that we can also stop this one here i forgot to mention this is your light switch if you need to press it but uh yeah so this is actually really interesting but right here is where it gets so cool if we press these it opens up these pods where you can just kind of float in now i don't know if these are like charging chambers or like something that you know powers our suit or just where we put our extra suits at or i don't know 
But see, we come in here and we just charge. So, like I said in the previous video, we had some cool things on the live stream. We had Batman, Spider-Man, Robin all lined up charging here. Uh, it was so cool. Maybe even Superman was in there too. So, yeah, these are really cool uh, that you could do if you have a lot of superheroes assembling. You could summon the, the, the Super Four or something. I don't know what they would be called. Brookhaven's Top Four or something. But that is so cool. And then you come out here and be like, what oof. And, uh, yeah, but that's all the features I know that these do here. But still, very cool, very cool. And I guess you could use this as a hiding place. You could do that. So, that be the case, you will notice right under here appears to be a walkway. An opening of sort. So, how do we get down there? Well, let's go ahead. You cannot take the elevator down. That's something to note. You cannot take the elevator down no matter what you do. But if you press up, it's going to take the elevator up and you can then jump down here. Now, if I go ahead and grab my flashlight, that's going to help me out a lot. Um, right here on the wall is a button, and what that's going to do is just teleport you back to the top of the elevator. So if you accidentally fall, you could just kind of teleport back to the top. So if we drop down here, you're going to notice another button down here, and that's where the good old safe is located. Right here. Now behind this safe is a weird vent. Uh, if you look right here, it's just like a weird vent that's behind the safe. Don't really know why this is here, but it is, and it goes all the way out there. So I guess, like, see, it's like a weird little vent. Uh, behind the safe now you probably could glitch in that and go down through there But I don't know why you would want to but if you press this button it teleports you back up Just like the other button kind of convenient kind of nice But now let's go to the suite the suite actually has things we've never seen before in Brookhaven And that's what makes it really cool. So if we go up through here, we're now in the suite now nothing really special or secretive up here uh, You can jump behind this little area here and hide. This is like a really good hiding place. I guess um, so yeah, you can kind of jump behind there, uh, but yeah, that's a little hiding place uh, You can jump up here and hide too if you want so just pointing out some hiding places up here I feel like hiding places are good to include in secrets um, So then with that you can't really jump anywhere up through here, but you do got this cool shower oh, Wait, what? Okay, so yeah, you have the cool shower as well and uh, yeah, that's about it. Remember to close your windows though if you're taking a poop because people might be able to peek, peek in. Look at that, dude. Paparazzi is going to be on top of the ark taking photos, dude. That is not it. So <laughs> now let's go to the secret room we know of. So if we go down here, we're going to need a sleeping bag for this one. Yep, you got to use a good old sleeping bag to gain access to this one. I usually put it up on the wall here somewhere. Um, let's see if I can get a good placement. Usually I don't have a problem. Oh, I almost got it. Almost got it. Okay, there it is. So once we place it there, we will be able to jump into this vacant open area hidden room. This is pretty cool and a hidden room that is included. I mean, what more can you really ask for? A hidden room in here, dude. This is a cool place that you could probably set up some props if you desire. So let's go here and set up some props. So if we come in here, we could set up like a like a complete armory maybe down here. <laughs> like we could put some guns on the wall. Um some missiles like a detonating thing i know you guys can't see right now but uh see so we got our turret down here we got our our our, our bomb we got some giant missiles and our guns on the wall dude so yeah you could turn this into like a secret superhero armory or a secret superhero uh prop base where you could put a bunch of props and kind of customize it to how you like the only problem in here is you don't got light there's no light in here so it's really dark so unless you got a flashlight uh, you could be in problems but i think you could actually use some light props which might kind of help you down here so yeah that kind of went all the way up through the ground that's not gonna work so let's put one of these all right so and then let's put one of these i think this is usually the better light but it's just changing so maybe this is going to be your best light source down here so you could put a lot of these around See, we put some around here, and now we can actually see some of the things we got, right? We can actually look around. Look at that. We can actually now look at what's going on here. So, yeah, the props are pretty good. I guess you could light this room yourself. So, this room is pretty much just like an open canvas. Go it's nuts. It's very customize. easy to do, guys. All you do is come over here, and you just hop up here from down in the hacking base. So, once we go down here, we're in here, the top secret hacking base. And you just jump up here, um, kind of like so. And then you just jump up here and then you jump right up there and you're in just like that easy I used to th I, I know when I first started I thought you needed a ladder, but you don't so it's pretty simple Right, so we could just drop back down here now in order to get in this room Which is the cool glorious room the ultimate top peak hacker the better than ever. He's the best hacker around Who is he? All right, so let's go ahead and we 
Oh, gravy. All right, so yeah, now we can turn that off. We can get sit down and hack, hack 10 million YouTube subscribers. Thank you. Coming soon. Right now. D delivery. Uh, yeah, they're probably not happening. But uh, that be the case, though, you just need this key card here. This key card here will grant you access to your secret room, and you can go in and out. You can get done taking a poop and go straight to your hacking ways. This is kind of great. You know, if you're sitting here a lot, you could just go right out and do what you need to do. But if that isn't good enough, well, let's get on into the other hacking room. Oh, also, I should probably know on where you find this key card. You come right over here, and it's just on the desk. You know, I would assume that the key card would be really, really well hidden, but it is not. And that is not something we can complain about. So, yeah, easy key card find there. Um, what else is stuff you could do in the actual hacker room? What is pressable? What can you do that's secretive? Well, I'm going to show something in a second um, that I forgot to include in other videos. So, yeah, we got Brookhaven TV here. Let's, uh, let's go flip through the channel. Cops, no, get them out of here. We don't want no cops. Most wanted live. Not bad. We're probably on there secretly. So, once we do that, though, if you come over here and see the microwave, yeah, there's something behind the microwave. But if we press this little button here, it turns the microwave on fire. So, yeah, you could turn the microwave on fire by pressing that button. So, I don't know why this is a feature. I don't know why it's there. Maybe you overcook your food, then boom, your microwave catches on fire, right? So, yeah, this thing is fully functional. You could turn it on and off. You can even instill in it the grandness of food. Um, so, yeah, we could put our food in there and then close it and then microwave it. And then it could be like, oh, my God, dude, I was too busy hacking, and now my food's on fire. So, yeah, you can do that. And then your fridge is your typical fridge. Nothing new there. It, it, the MTV fridge, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, pretty normal fridge. Nothing too unusual. You got your bunk beds up here. Um, there's nothing there. They're just beds. Uh, that's, well, actually, I, is it down here? Oh, yeah, it is. We can go inside the wall here. So there's actually multiple places alongside this wall that you can kind of go in, um, which is kind of interesting. And the microwave... Oh my god, dude. The microwave's still on. Turn, 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 yeah, turn, turn off. Thank you, dude. That is so loud. I don't like you. All right, so yeah, there's actually multiple places that you can go into the wall. Uh, but for the sake of this, we'll jump up to this one because it's up on the floor ahead of time. So once you're in here, you're going to be met with a maze unlike any other. Yes, uh, and then in one of these corners, there is a button that you can press. Which corner it is, is a good question. I don't quite know. Oh, it's over here. Okay, so if we come here and we press this, it opens up a secret room. Look at that, it closed it. Now, if we come in here, we go all the way to the end, and then we have our safe location, which is kind of in the midst of the maze. So hopefully that helped you guys there. But remember, there's another secret button here that opens it, and you can leave just as simple as you went in. So yeah, and then the reason why this is green, if you're wondering, like, why is that green? I, I've always questioned that. Um, the reason why that is green is because it tells you where there isn't a dead end, and you can go through it. That's why it's green. So yeah. If we look at the flooring and everything else in this hacker room, you might be asking a question. What are these little buttons on the side of the wall? Those are just lights that look like buttons that we normally would press. Uh, we do got a Coke vending machine here that is workable. You can, it does work. You can get Coke from it. So that's pretty cool too. Um, we got all the computers. Uh, we can't really turn these on or do anything with the computer. Uh, so yeah, yeah, you can't really change the screen. There isn't no buttons. There's access granted one here. But it doesn't do anything either. So, yeah, sometimes you get buttons to launch missiles or do various things. But, uh, oh, you can pick this up. Huh, what do you know? You can pick up that paper. Um, and then you have a couple file cabinets. And that is the gist of that. So, I believe that might have been the majority of everything that we found into the hacker base. Now, of course, if you guys find something we did not, make sure to let me know. Um, so yeah, now the question is, can you glitch anything? Why is it tired, dude? Yeah, tired, dude. What is wrong with you? Um, now the next question might be, can you glitch vehicles in any way in the hacker base? Well, it's going to be incredibly hard to glitch your vehicles in this hacker base uh, down below. But you could try to do some stuff to see if it'll glitch your vehicle. One way that you could probably do it is go here and remove these. Remove the tires. And then do this, and then jump out, and it should fall right down there, maybe. Let's see, did it fall down there? Oh, it just fell all the way through. It, wait, did it fall in here? Dude, that would have been something. 
Um, also, you can, uh, by clicking on the curtains, this is a big note, change this so you can look up or down while you're down here. Like right now it's clear, but we can use our curtains and it will black it out in case someone, you know, the, 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 the cops, the cops come down, they can't see you down there anyways, honestly. But yeah, so there's that. That's pretty cool. Now onto some other things. There's minor bug fixes in this update. I haven't really found them yet, but if I find anything that has changed that's very subtle, I'll be sure to let you guys know as well. But we do have willies. Now, willies are new things that you could do on the motorcycles and stuff in Brookhaven. You cannot do these on these vehicles here, aka the bikes, which is kind of weird. You would think BMX bike, you would be able to do a willie or something, but you cannot. However, you can do willies on this. By clicking here and clicking this, now, I thought it was important to include in this video some details about the wheelie. The wheelies operate and function a lot better if you're on lower speeds. Now, obviously, if your speed is like 200, you're not really going to have a lot of good luck with the wheelies as it's just going to be kind of like a little bit chaotic, right? So let's see. We got 200 speed. And as you can tell, we're picking up speed, yes, but it still is not how it should be, right? We can even put turbo on this thing, too. But um, yeah, so it, it's a little bit hard to do at 200 and you just kind of spin out and you don't really have and a of lot course of you luck. can come over here and press this button, which allows you to change it through various different jobs or symbols that can really just input however you would like to role play in the White House. Well, for this sake, we're going to be doing the agency. So yeah, you just press this white button here. It allows you to change it. You can make it into an agency White House, which is kind of crazy. The agency have took over. Over here is your house commands. If people are coming in your house, adding a ton of props. You guys like to do that to me. I can just delete all of them here however i do kind of wish there was like a permanent like disable prop solution because i'll delete all the props and then people will add like 100 more right after it right so another funny thing is that people were doing you can kind of glitch your vehicles into the uh, white house um so for example let's just do this hover vehicle for now um I i've never tried this one so i don't know if it's gonna work because it's kind of big but you can take your vehicles in here so if you see you can drive your vehicles in the White House. Now, this is kind of chaotic. I'm not going to lie, dude, but it, it is possible. So if you keep glitching it, you can kind of glitch your way in. And look at this, dude. We are we are now... Dude, what are we doing? Dude, this is so bad, dude. Oh, my God. So, yeah, you could just kind of go crazy with it as you guys can tell you could probably glitch like tons of vehicles and now we have a roblox egg hunt vehicle in the white house parked here uh <laughs> kind of like at the dining room dude what is this right so this is just one of the prime examples this is the first time i've glitched this one in here but you can glitch semi trucks uh, limousines you know any type of vehicle that you could possibly fit through the front door you can get in here and put through the white house now i don't know why you would want to do this but it is kind of secretness worthy i figured so that's why it's included in in here because uh, it is something you could do next up is the notorious safe location by clicking the back of this statue it will teleport you into the safe room now the cool thing you could do in the safe room is you can glitch into the wall and when you do this it kind of puts you in the best hiding place that you will ever find um i'm not even kidding so if you do this and glitch into the wall, it will sometimes make you fall through the wall. I think I glitched on the wrong side. Yeah, I glitched on the wrong side. But um, you can glitch on one side uh, of the safe. And what it does is basically allow you to just kind of go across the wall all the way back to the pool. Um, now, it doesn't really do anything, but it completely hides you. Like, if you're looking for the top hiding place, that's one of the best places to do it. No lie, guys. So let's actually go down there and see. Now I know which side. It needs to be this side, I think, maybe. Or is it this side? Oh, it's this side, I think. So this is the side that you can do it in usually. Okay, okay, come on. Let me get this for demonstration purposes. All right, it's not letting me get it now, dude. I, I literally did this multiple times, dude. All right, I don't know why it's doing this, dude. This is unbelievable. All right, let's try this side of the wall then. Let's see if we can get a, a, a good bed placement. It has to be placed so the bed, the head of the bed is kind of facing towards the wall in a sense, right? So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that perfect bed placement to kind of glitch us here. See, it almost glitched me out there, but you guys get the point. You can play around with it. I, we did catch that on video as well. It kind of glitches you back to the pool, which is kind of funny in its own way. Now, one secret that I've not got to include in a video yet that I feel is essential is the red buttons and all of the buttons up here at the presidential uh, table. So if we come here, you will see that you can press this right here. Now, once we do that, it opens up this. Now, look at this, guys. This is a bunch of different buttons 
that do a bunch of different things and it's got the big red button. Now everybody knows the big red button is a big no. You don't press it ever. It's there, it is pressable, but you don't press the big red button. Now what this big red button would do and if it's gonna come and do a future update, I don't know, but at the current moment, we have not been able to find this to be pressable. So there you have it. You can't really press this button yet, but still it's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie, dude. This is kind of cool that this is here and it was kind of just one of those secret things that you have to find. So. Another thing is, don't forget guys, you can go on the roof by pressing that button there. You can also hide in the roof up here, um, kind of good hiding place I guess, and then you can jump through this and jump into the back of the pool if you desire. So, that be the case, now we also got our helicopter, right? So we're going to take our helicopter right here, and we're going to go on over to the school. Now the school is the new other big update that we got. All right, so we got the White House. That was huge, right? And I think we covered a lot of the stuff in the White House, but if we come over here, we can go to the school. Now, the school, you can also glitch vehicles in. Everybody knows that. Um, you can glitch vehicles and stuff into the school. Now, there is something wrong at the current moment of me filming this. It's probably going to get patched, but if you go here and you type in meeting, it makes the room very dark, and I don't know why or how to change that, but yeah, the room just gets super dark. This is where you can talk about the doge and everything and everybody can have their meetings here, all right? So that's pretty cool. And here are the bleachers, which a couple updates back, we know that these bleachers were getting experimented with, and now they're finally here. Of course, you got the dance that you can uh, put to. You can sing up here and do whatever you might want to do there. Uh, and then we have gymna gymnastics and pool. So the pool is also a very cool one. You can get on the diving board and use the pool. Now, if we come over here to the auditorium, you have many interesting things, including Western Brookhaven. Kind of taking a little stab at that for a second. Is this hinting towards more time travel related stuff in future secrets? I don't know. Probably not. But still, it's kind of cool to get like a Western setting. And if you come over here, you can also get Greece and home and just an empty stage or the city whichever you desire so there's no real secrets tied into these they're just here i thought they were very noteworthy but there is something like if someone's standing on the stage you will get an error message here that says you're not allowed to change the stage and if someone is standing on it so this is kind of for the reason that if someone's using it like the community pool it also goes for the gym or if someone's doing a play and then someone just changes and interrupts the whole thing it could be quite the problem so that's probably why that was implemented. Now in the city, we have, of course, in the city, let me check the janitor office again, just to make sure there ain't nothing new here. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so that'd be the case. In the city, we have like the museum and the dealership that we can change. And there is a short time limit on that. There is a short time limit on that. But other than that though, it, it that's about it, right? So, but for the school ones, I felt like that probably was more of an essential thing to kind of add. Now, we also did get new props. They're really hard to find, but if you find them, they are there. And some of them are really cool, like the punching bag. Now, you might be like, how do I get the punching bag to actually move? At this current moment, you cannot. There is no way to get the punching bag to move. I know a lot of people was like, oh, well, if you press this and that, you or if you punch it, it actually moves. Everybody in well, the comments says this is one of their favorite Easter egg mobiles that we received yet. It definitely expands and does something more creative than the previous years. And I have to agree with you 100%. Actually, having a bunny mobile is the cutest and greatest thing ever, I think, being introduced. And, uh, you know, we're always like, where's the bunny? Where's the bunny for it? Wait, I can ride on the tail? No. No way. <laughs> Dude, this already is a secret I didn't know about. I didn't know you could ride on the tail of the bunny mobile. Well, right away, guys, don't forget, you can ride on the tail of the bunny mobile. That's kind of an accidental find there. Perfect for the secret video. So, yeah, obviously, a, a lot of the vehicles, you can have multiple friends riding alongside with you. I just didn't know you could ride on the tail here. So, that's kind of cool as well. Good thing to know. But, yeah, this is kind of cool. Oh, she's walking a dog. Look at that. She's walking her dog. Uh, how nice is that, Mia? Uh, and your famous mia is famous can i get all crap um but yeah so that be the case um so yeah you go right on the back of the bunny mobile you can uh come back here and you can even see it from here uh placed carefully behind this hunt here uh if you want to add borders around your uh your your city you can do that temporarily for now as well that's like a little thing not really a secret but still it's something fun you could do to trick your friends maybe and be like look i banned the whole city and they're gonna be like huh how did you ban the city well you just press this button over here actually but yeah we can end that hunt there that kind of showcases that so is there anything new with the housing 
or any oh my god dude moonlight is making a house from the ground up dude that's cool all right that's cool dude guys don't forget there was a construction update in brookhaven that allowed you to craft and make your own houses in brookhaven this was one of the coolest updates ever dude i'm not gonna lie when that update dropped and we could get workable cranes and everything dude i was ecstatic i was like on a whole nother world with it so yeah getting back to what i was saying is there any new secrets in any of the homes well the new laboratory got uh, introduced recently and we looked at all the secrets being able to make the different colored potion and being able to activate the whole uh, research room and finding the secret room behind that we already got that covered so in terms of easter updates specifically they are no new house secrets so that should keep you covered and stop you from having to search for maybe a secret in a new house or something like that uh there are no added house secrets in this update now future secrets to come i should touch on that too while we're here well future secrets in brookhaven are going to have to do with the cave over at lake madison where the boulder opens up and you can go into the secret cave that's going to have a new secret coming soon second off there's going to be another secret book coming soon we know this because wolfpack has confirmed it and i just wanted to touch on that because people are probably like okay we're getting secrets now but what about secrets coming in the future well yes new secret book is confirmed by wolfpack and something to do with the hidden cave at lake madison has a new secret coming together with it in the future. Now, I do want to touch on some theories and secrets that people have been talking about as well, just to kind of cover those as well, because guys, this is an all-in-one stop, updated secret video of all things secret related, including the Easter update. So next off, a lot of people have got different theories and secrets that they have found that I personally have not found, and I think it's very essential that I touch on these if I believe them to be real or not. First off, right away people were saying in this update the portal the agency portal got removed and it's no longer in the game this is debunked it is not true i was getting numerous tweets saying oh my god the portal had got removed it's no longer in the game this obviously caught my attention oh my god the house is getting built guys look at this look at this holy moly dude she's really building this house right now oh my god dude i'm just gonna use your portal body don't worry thank you all right so um that be the case the portal is still here, so I'm going to debunk that one, guys. If anybody's saying the portal is no longer in the game, it is still here. The next one, the big elephant in the room that everybody has been searching for is the rainbow egg. I still have not found the rainbow egg, and I just cannot conduct enough proof about the rainbow egg, guys. We made a whole video going in detail about the rainbow egg, which is an extreme egg hunt egg that you can find at a very rare chance of spawning in, and a lot of people deem this to accidentally finding the rainbow egg and not paying attention. Like, if you find the egg at the auto shop behind the boxes, you're not not even gonna pay attention right so it is a chance that i got this rare occurrence of finding the rainbow egg myself but i accidentally wasn't paying attention and i did obtain it now once obtaining this rainbow egg there is said to be a sound that is unlike the normal sounds when you find the normal eggs in the extreme hunt this then activates something across the map we didn't know if it activated an easter bunny secret or something along the lines of that but i cannot seem to conclude enough evidence to say that the rainbow egg is here and wolfpack hasn't confirmed that there was a rainbow egg and by now since this is getting towards the end of the update wolfpack would have said there is still another secret lurking uh because this year wolfpack has been a lot more open with the community and the secrets and the updates involving the secrets if we have found them all that way we're not searching endlessly for nothing that we won't find right so i think the rainbow egg might not be uh something that's findable actually maybe maybe it was a troll but still i'm getting comments on the day-to-day -day that people are saying they found the rainbow egg so it's really confusing uh, i'm even getting tons of comments on my tiktok as well like yeah i found the rainbow egg at this location um like i said guys if you still to this day find the rainbow egg make sure you tweet it to me on twitter right all right oh my god no way i'm gonna be awesome dude we found this guy awesome let me say hi to him at least so all right all right let me say hi to him okay so next thing that you can do with the new egg mobiles guys that you might not know and uh let's spawn this here you can do this and you can do the ladder glitch which allows you to spawn a ladder behind it um, that's a pretty cool secret if I say so myself. It allows you to go really fast, uh, abnormally fast if you're reversing up into it and then you happen to remove it, it usually will make you go really, really fast. You just gotta get it right. Um, this is a secret that's been in the game for a long time, and I don't know why, but uh, it is kinda crazy. Like, it's not doing it with this one for some reason. Okay, that's weird. That's very strange. All right. Turbo is going to start me off faster, but am I going to be able to get the speed if my max speed is not high? I don't know. Okay, let's see. All right. No, kind of, kind of. 
but I think that might just be my normal speed. But yeah, the ladder glitch is something you guys can play around with. Just back your car up and place the ladder behind it, and then it's going to cause your ladder to go super fast, right? It's going to cause your ladder to go super fast. So that's kind of a cool thing I like to play around with, especially with the new vehicles. Obviously, we did a whole comparison of the Batmobile and the new Eggmobile, the giant one from the Easter Egg Hunt event as well. So yeah, also there's been a lot of touches on people saying that there's different secrets inside the hunts themselves. I have not personally found any of these. Of course, people are claiming that some of the vehicles actually have secret Easter attached to them so like you can like some of the normal Brookhaven vehicles have Easter specialties to them now this may be true this may be true um, there may be some vehicles that you spawn that you can add Easter eggs to um, but I know specifically the Easter hunt vehicles have that cool availability of being able to add different Easter uh, um, uh, decorative features to them so if we come here and we press this we can add this but we can also add the eggs right so some of the vehicles have special eggs that can be added Read our papers it says subscribe to all one g on youtube oh my god dude look at this <laughs> but yeah the paper says subscribe subscribe but yeah that'd be the case though there is some interesting things you can pick up in this uh, place that is definitely worth uh, some uh, you know effort uh, of noticing so one is these books now you might be like why are they just books that you can pick up I mean well duh they're books you pick them up to read them right well not always the case in some previous homes and books scattered throughout Brookhaven when you pick up the books it happens to activate other various things around the map now sometimes when you pick these books up it will not make a sound it will not do anything but it will activate something else around the map Here's my theory. I believe one of the books in this laboratory might have something to do with another Brookhaven secret. Because, I don't know, something's just speaking to me about it, dude. So, that could definitely be the case there. Uh, and, 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 and yeah, let's, let's kind of go around. This is the laser. Of course, the laser is absolutely crazy as well. Uh, but let's look for books. There's another book here. Reads the books. Um, so, yeah, we got some uh, another book here. And then we're gonna come over here, look around. There might be another book in here. There's a lot of paperwork. Um, so let's go see if there's a book in here. Maybe no books. Okay, so now let's go look at some other secret items that you can pick up that you might not have caught. So if we come in here, you will see in here, I can pick up some red potions. Pretty cool, right? And then over here, I can pick up some green potions. So yeah, that's just two little secret items you can pick up that I thought was definitely noteworthy. Now let's go ahead and look at the uh, secret room. So there is a secret room and a way to access a secret room in here, and it's pretty nice. You just come over to the safe location, and you jump behind the wall, and now you're in this secret hallway that proceeds to go all the way over here and beyond. Now this secret, be careful, you can fall and die there as that goes outside of the map. So, yeah, and I don't know what happens if you come all the way. Okay, wait. Okay, I'm right here, so if I follow alongside here, there's nothing really over here. Uh, and then this is just other parts of the map. So, anyways, yeah. So, shift cam can kind of be helpful as well for finding little secret rooms and stuff. I thought this was very innovative in its own unique way. The reason for it, usually Wolfpack hides safes in, like, secret rooms. But this time, he was just like, look. Uh, oh, whoa. What just happened there? Um, this time, he was like, the safe's here. Then the secret room is behind the safe. So, I thought that was very interesting. Uh, of course, there is an alarm system as well. If you pour, pu pull the alarm, it gets kind of crazy in here. Now, people have said if you combine the alarm with other disasters in the disaster pack, it just makes the laboratory look like a huge, huge bad experience, dude. And I'll show you guys in a minute. But first off, let's look at the table. Of course, this is the new laser and all the effects that you can do to the laser, to your character. You can add the water. And it's kind of crazy, dude. I ain't going to lie. Like, that is so cool. Whoa, it's burning. <laughs> That's just me. Uh, yeah, so that be the case, though. Uh, that is pretty cool as well. Um, and uh, then we got this over here we can press. Interesting, right? Interesting. Now, no sound happens there, but I don't know if you activate both of these. Let's see. Okay. Let's come over here and press this. Okay, interesting. Someone did recently tweet me. I think it was Sam as well that said, when you activate the water in the fireball in the new house, it makes the same noise as the guy in the museum does when we activate it. Now, I don't know what Sam means by this. Sam is, a, a, I think, a diamond tier member of the channel. And, like, uh, this is... Uh that's interesting. So that's something to play around with. Activating this and this over here might activate another secret that is similar to the one in the museum. So that's kind of something to take note on there as well. 
um, that we should be weary of. So, uh, on top of that, guys, there's also something really funny I guess you could do as well. If we come here, let's go get a vehicle, right? Let's get this thing here. Can't spawn at location. Why would you tell me such a thing, dude? All right, so let's get this thing looking nice. Um, let's go ahead and change it. Um, all right, and let's drive this thing in. That's right, guys. You can drive this thing in the laboratory, okay? So, if you want to do a research, some research on this vehicle you can drive it down into the basement and you can even put it on the laser table dude i'm not even kidding dude look at this you can drive cars down in here so yeah you, you know if and it opens up so i can just park me a car here dude I, i'm coming to work today i got my car parked it's it's brilliant dude isn't it <laughs> so yeah that's something weird you can do you could just pull your car down here i don't know dude but let's actually try to do something uh, that people say is absolutely nutty, dude. Let's go here and no, we don't want to do that. We go disaster pack. Now, is there like a crazy like bugs? All right, right. Okay, so we just had a massive bug outbreak. Pull the alarm, dude. The bugs are out, dude. This full contamination. Look at this, dude. This does look crazy. Oh, oh god, dude. Oh my god, no, this is kind of spooking me out, dude. I don't like bugs like that, dude. Look at that, dude. Something went terribly wrong at this laboratory. I am not even playing, dude. I don't think myself or any of you guys want to be inside a bug-infested laboratory. Whoa, dude, this is giving me the chills. Okay, so uh, we can also do a gas leak. Um, we can do that too, dude. We can do a flood. Oh my god, dude, intense wind. Oh no, did that flood the whole bottom of the house? Is that, is the bottom, is this water? Yeah, dude, there's water here. Wait, what all did I activate? Hold up, I'm scared. There, I think I activated an intense wind too. Holy moly, dude, this is crazy. Oh my God, dude. This makes the laboratory look crazy, dude. Let's see what else we got. Uh, oh yeah, I did gas leak as well. Um, let's see, we could do fire, blackout. That disables everything with lightning. Holy moly, dude. This is crazy, dude. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of there, dude. Let's get white. Blackout turn. Oh, no. It's nighttime. That's why. <laughs> I was like, why did that? Why did it get dark outside, too? Oh, my God, dude. That looks like a dark, infested laboratory that just got completely destroy dude let's get rid of that dude that is crazy so on top of that is there any secrets that you could do with the cars well guys keep in mind there are new rims now not really secrets but there is something that you can do with this uh, this one here so let's actually get rid of that and just spawn in the the police uh, Lamborghini house guys remember some of these police vehicles have a little button on top that you can change it to sheriff you can change it to military police state trooper and then back to your police so yeah that's something that a lot of people forget is there that is there that you can use which is kind of helpful and nice in its own as well but yeah i am curious about what sam was saying to me on twitter guys as per usual though if you guys have secrets one of the best places to tweet me is on twitter as well uh we have been on twitter quite a bit guys because there's a lot of hints towards a new egg hunt and everything in roblox soon so that's going to be insane plus we got the notorious yearly brookhaven egg hunt coming up which i think is going to cross tie with this year's egg hunt in roblox so there's a lot of crazy things coming that i i have a lot of hope for like if they do this right it could be the most insane thing ever guys think about this if roblox gets it's old school egg hunts back and then it does uh, like you have to go in other games and stuff and brookhaven is a part of it oh so that's already a little crazy not gonna lie but if we come over here and press this this is gonna gain us access to the new criminal base it is back guys the criminal base is back redid reformed into something amazing so this criminal room is crazy this is where your safe is it's a whole safe room look at this dude i figured there would be more money in here uh but there's not so uh yeah kind of weird but there's also a cage what dude what are they who are they locking down here dude They're, this is the mafia of brookhaven dude that's not a joke so if we come over here we got this nice table but under it is a carefully blended new button that if you press this new button is going to uh, activate this now this is lasers now if you fall into the lasers you're going to get annihilated okay you can't go through here this is the coolest feature we've seen in a long time um that is available but how do rich people get through stuff well you just take some green money and you can fall right through the lasers simple as that and then you have access to the new awesome agency meeting room now if we come over here we will see behind here we can press an invisible button and that activates the agency logo 
Then behind here, it will also activate this secret that says greed and fear. Huh? So yeah, greed and fear being the two negatives of the agency that they operate out of. They operate out of greed, money, and fear, scaring the people of their evil doings. And uh, the other two messages that you see in the museum that are blurred out is brave and kind. So obviously they wouldn't be brave. We thought maybe brave and kind would appear behind here, but brave and kind is the saviors, I think, of Brookhaven. And the agency is obviously operating out of greed and fear. So now we have all this. What is the next secret, right? What is the big thing here? Well, we're going to have to leave this and uh, go back out of our house. And now we got to activate a series of other secrets to get our laptop connected. So... In order to do that, we need to make sure that the crystals have spawned over at uh, here. So in order to do that, guys, I think we have to spawn a very specific house. So we're probably going to have to respawn a house to do that. There's so many secrets that activate other different things and other things of that sort. So I do want to test if this criminal RP set go, uh, you know, activates the crystal. Okay, I don't. So now we need to go activate the crystal or get one of the crystals. Now, there is a house in Brookhaven that has a crystal up in the attic. So we could do that. So the problem with that is we got to find the right house that has the crystal up in the attic. And I can never remember which house it is because it looks like a lot of other houses. Like already, that is not the right house. So um, prime example. So let's try this one, this one. It's got to be this one. So let's wait, cancel that, go here, and let's try this house. This house might be the one. Please be the one. No, it is. It is the one. Okay, great. Thank you. Now, if we come up here, we can get the crystal by pressing up here in the attic. Now, this is essential to get the secret message on your laptop. So up we go. Let's go ahead and get the laptop in our inventory as well. And then let's go grab the crystal. Now, like I said, you can also grab this crystal at the, uh, at the whatchamacallit, okay? The whatchamacallit. So now let's go to uh, one of the other houses. There we go. That way we can get closer to the church. And we're also going to need a, we're going to need this thing here, okay? Now, I think we need to activate the top of the church first. I could be wrong. I can't remember, guys. Uh, I'm going to be honest. Uh, so let's be honest here. And let's see if this is what we do. We come up here, press this. Yep. And then we come down here and we spawn the funeral. Come here, press this. And this should connect our laptop. Now, let's make sure our laptop says connected on it. Then once we do that, we can head back. Yep, it says connected. So now we can head back to our criminal base. Go down here to the criminal RP set, just like this. Guys, we're getting straight to the point here. So uh, now we do that. We can go back down into our criminal base. We do have to activate everything again. So let's just uh, wait till this loads in. And then let's activate that. Jump down here. And then we will go press this button again. Secret button here. And then we're gonna get our money out, follow down through the lasers, just like that. Now, you do have to have the agency logo activated for this. So let's activate the agency logo. And then let's see if we can get this to give us the new secret message. Awesome. Connected. All right. So let's see if we can now. We're connected. Let's see if we can get the new message. Probably go sit in some of these chairs. I don't know if I got to sit in all the chairs or not. Um, let's see. Okay. I'm I, I sat in all the chairs. We get connected. All right, let's boot it back up. We're connected. We're down here. Hopefully, we don't got to leave and come back. Uh, I think this is all. All right, here it is. Follow blindly. Do not think money is everything. The agency. There's the new secret message on the laptop. So follow blindly. Do not think money is everything. There you guys have it. Crazy, right? So that's some of the new secret bases and everything in here so far. So. Uh, guys, if that's not insane, I don't know what is. What is this tell us? What does this tell us? Well, this tells us that Marcus is still actively investigating the agency and finding out that the agency is still conducting meetings throughout all of Brookhaven, even though the creator is passed. And we thought the agency was done, right? This could signify that the agency is still conducting meetings and still having, well, only the rich. So who are the richest people in Brookhaven? Maybe the mayor. Uh, maybe the judge. I mean, up in the town hall attic, there is a money printing place, right? So this could be the case. A lot of people have strong sus suspicion of Rotten Robbie. Um, so this could mean, guys, that in the next update, we're going to see a new book. And we're going to see something that pieces together that weird place in the cave over there where the boulder moves. This is huge, guys. So... This could mean that in the next update, we're going to see even more stuff revealed that is going to showcase. Why is it getting dark, dude? So this could definitely mean a lot of different things, guys. And, and it's all unfolding to us slowly but surely, guys. So 
Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of this. And now let's look at the other new feature, which is the forklift. So if we come down here to the forklift, uh, where are you? I passed you right there. It is. This is the new forklift. It looks awesome. You can drive it around and do whatever you want with it. Um, and you can carry supplies and move supplies. The forklift was something that felt like a definitely essential piece to the update. And it is a cool one at that. Why we've never seen a forklift yet. I don't know, but, um, let's go ahead and open this. And now we can take our forklift in here. And um, it's a cover-up, right? It's just a warehouse. You're like, oh, it's a warehouse. Guys, you can also go to the top of this warehouse by pressing this here. And then if you come up to the top, you're now at the top here. So uh, as you guys can tell, there's nothing on the board. It's just all white. Now, I wonder if we go to house controls and we type in here, agency, uh, not an agency base. I promise. <laughs> not an agency base, I promise, and it puts it right there. So now this place right here, guys, is not an agency base. I promise. Of what okay. is included, and then we're going to take a look at it. First and foremost, on the update change log, we'll fix this. Happy New Year of 2024. There's a new free island house plot, a property pass island house plot, and an estate pass island house plot, and two sharks. Roleplay sharks specifically, but what? Sharks? That is the cool part of this update, and that is the part of the update that really is my favorite. But before we get too caught up with the sharks and all the funness that is the sharks and everything, mm -hmm, there's one of the sharks right there. We're going to get the chance to get not yet, not yet to the sharks, dude. You stick around for the sharks because there's some cool things about the sharks and cool features that you can do with the sharks as well that you guys are going to want to know about. Now... In terms of secrets for this uh, this update, people are curious about the secrets as well. Uh, they are kind of goofy little fun things you could do with the islands and stuff. Okay, so this is the free island. Just vacant house lot number 35. Anybody and everybody, if you join into a Brookhaven lobby, you can spawn a house out here on the ocean. So that's pretty amazing. Now, let's go ahead and just spawn a, you know, a house in construction. Look at it. So now you can be constructing your your house out here on the waters. Let's climb this. Up, 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 up. Come on now. Keep going up. There we are. So you can now continue building your house on the waters here. I don't know how you're going to get the construction equipment. I would guess via a helicopter or some sort to kind of transport it over. But, um, yeah, so this is really cool, guys. This island here alone is good enough to, like, in my opinion, like, and the fact that it's for free players as well, Dude, you can't really top that. I mean, each and everybody that's watching this video right now can go and spawn an island on the house. So this makes, obviously, the islands useful now. I'm going to be honest. When we first got the ocean update, it was a big shock between me, my friends, and uh, a lot of you guys as well. Like, why do the, the islands only work as ramps for the speedboats? Is that it? And I know it seemed like it was kind of distant. There wasn't even an island cave or cavern of sort. There wasn't nothing that was really giving us any value other than it just being a deserted, lonely island. Now, the islands have value. All three of them. And the first one here is for free players as well that you can spawn any of the free houses on. I mean, I can spawn any house uh, as well on here. So that's pretty darn cool if you ask me. But now let's hunt on over to another island. Let's get some turbo on here. You know what's crazy, guys? The sharks can actually have turbo, too. We'll get into that, though. We'll get into it. I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm excited. But I might have to go faster than this, man. This is slow. Let's pick up that speed right there, 200. Not bad, not bad. That's faster. I like it. Okay, so now we're going to come up here to this one. And this is the... Is this the estate one? The island estate. Okay, so... Vacant lot number 37. So this is the big one. Guys, now this is the big one. The island estate, you know what that means. You can spawn estates. Now, the estate game pass. Dude, this is about to be the coolest thing ever. Okay. I've not done this shit. It's going to be so cool. I'm so excited. Military base. Military base, dude. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at it, dude. Hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me go get on my, 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 my jet ski and pull up in there. Look at this. Whoa. So, the estate game pass is the most expensive game pass of the game. Kind of rightfully so. I mean, look at this, dude. This is so cool. 
Now, this means that all the estates are probably got different unique features that wasn't originally in the estate. Like this one, for example. There's a whole underground entryway to park your boats. Oh, my God. That's so cool, dude. All right, let's open this. Are you kidding me, dude? Launching a jet from an island like this? Oh, dude, I'm in love already. All right, let's go spawn it. There's my jet right there, my beauty. All right, up we go. We fancy it, don't we? All right, it's going to be a glorious day in Underbrook heaven. All right, let me change my uh, jet to uh, gray. And let's start on. Oh my god, dude, this is cool. Hold out military base on the island. Oh my god, dude. I, I can't get over how cool this is. Like, I, I know I might be kind of spazzing out a little bit, but dude, this is great, dude. Look at that underwater cavern, too. Like, dude, this is good, dude. This is good. I like it. I like it. I like this can of beans. It's good, dude. Um, yeah, this is amazing. I really am happy with this, dude. The estate looks so good here. And uh, now I want to see what, like, maybe the military base or something looks like. So let's actually try that. Let me just crash my jet, dude. All right, let me cancel this. Go here. And, ooh, the, the hotel, though. All right, let's try the prison. Okay, so all of the estates, all of the estates, guys, have this little under area. Like, um, so... Whenever you spawn, it, it probably the hotel, anything, it has this. I guess it makes sense because, like, if you have an estate, you got to get to it somehow, right? So, here's the prison entrance, Brookhaven's correctional facility for people that need good old correcting because they do stupid stuff. But, um, that be the case, um, yeah, this is really cool, too. I mean, look at how beautiful this is, dude. Yes, that is nice, dude. No, that's nice, nice, nice. Now, let's go ahead. And cut this one out. Okay. Now let's get the note. I want to see what the hotel looks like. Because that's one of the unique ones too. Okay. So we have the hotel here. Now there is in this cave here, guys. There is this outer part too. Like, look. You can go down over here. Yeah, this kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't know what's over here, dude. What? What is this? Oh, wait, is that a secret way out? Oh, my God, dude. Secret cave entrance. Dude, that's kind of cool. And, guys, remember the prison actually has two underground escape routes. So, I guess that kind of connects to the island and everything, too. And we have a lot of room, dude. So, this is like a hotel on the island. Haunted as it may be and could be. Yeah, when me and Darzaflas came here, I didn't like staying here, dude. It was creepy, man. There was a lot of creepy stuff about this place. Super spooky. So, that is the estates, uh, kind of in, in, in a nutshell, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and uh, get back down to the waters and uh, get our trusty, dusty duster. We're going to do this today. It is floating. Thank you. All right, now let's head on over to the other island where you can also have a wonderful house. Now, this other one is part of the uh, uh, another game pass or something. I, I'm not sure. It's the Paradise Island. So it obviously has a little bit of a different layout, but it doesn't include the, uh, the uh, what you may call it. The what you may call it. But uh, all right, so this island here, uh, if we come and we hop over here, this should be the Paradise Island. So... This one just is a little bit of a different design, but you can still even spawn a spaceship out here if you want. Uh, and it gives you a... Okay, this one gives you the dock, which my boat is not doing too good with. Okay, he's fine. He's fine. No, no, no. He's fine. He's fine. Sit down. He's fine. Um, so, yeah. This is the... This one is nice, actually. I really like this one. It's kind of up there and one of my favorites because I like the estate one, too, because you get the underground entrance. But this... The dock is just so cool, too. So, I guess... You know, you have to have a way to dock your boats or in enter these places, right? Or leave them. Just on the normal free islands, though, you, you're out of luck, dude. You know, we need, like, um, like life raft boats, you know? Like, say you're on, like, a, like, a, the, like, I don't know, some giant cruise and things go wrong. And you got to pop out your little life raft boats to escape, you know? We need some of those as well. 
added to the catalog of boats. Um, so hopefully we will see something like that and hopefully some bigger yachts and stuff like some uh, like cruises, you know, cruise ships. Um, that's what I'm really hoping for. I'm really hoping for some cruise ships. I would personally love to see that. Uh, we got our SpaceX rocket here, dude. We, we need a, a, a company, you know, like that's like um, SpaceX and stuff that's actually working on the ocean stuff. Dude, is there a company like, like, you know, we're always trying to go to space, but what company is working on like the ocean stuff, ocean stuff, dude? There's, there's some stuff with the ocean that needs to be, uh, needs to be got. Um, all right, so let's go ahead. And now we are going to be moving on to the sharks. Okay, so this is my favorite part. Okay. Um, we've never really seen anything like this in Brookhaven. Now, I, I guess these, they spawn right in the water. Okay. And you hop in them. And now we are inside the shark. Now, I guess what this technically is, dude. I know, I know, I know. It looks cool. Hit the like button for the shark or he's going to eat you, dude. Do you want to be ate by a shark? Someone said, yeah, what is wrong with you, dude? What, what, what is actually wrong with you? Hit the like button, okay, already, for Pete's sake. Um, but yeah, so that be the case. Um, the shark looks amazing. It's beautiful. But you can, can you can change the color on the shark. Okay, let's make sure. So um, you can change the color on your shark to make it any color that you want. This one just doesn't have the cool pattern. That's what I was thinking. So um, that be the case, you can change it to any color. If you want a green shark, dude, that's covered in, like, seaweed. Look at his gills, bro. That looks crazy. Yeah, but so he's a, he, he he's technically, I guess the sharks here are mechanical sharks. They're controllable mechanical sharks because if you zoom in, you see that I'm just laying here. It's like a coffin, dude. Or it, it's either a mechanical shark or it's a shark that eats you and you're in it, you're in its stomach as it roams around looking for its next meal. Find a beach, get away with tons of people swimming in the ocean, and go on a buffet. But um, yeah, so. As you can tell, these sharks look beautiful. They look great. Um, I mean, I was really hoping for sharks. I, I mean, I was wanting sharks really badly. And we got them in such a unique, amazing way that really works. And I'm happy with it. I really am. So, the premium features do not work on the shark. Does it look like this shark has wheels? Right? So, those don't work on the shark. None of the premium features. You don't got a horn. I don't think sharks make noises. They do respond to certain noises. Certain things do attract them, other than blood. But um, that be the, did I just go on land? Wait, what? Now, obviously, you can't take the sharks on land either. Um, you can try, but it usually doesn't work. So you can do that. That's about as far as it can go. I have got it to glitch and do some pretty crazy things. So like on stream, when we were streaming, it looked like I actually caught the shark. It was kind of the coolest thing ever, dude. I'm not even going to lie. It looked like I had caught a shark, a live shark with my fishing rod, which we might be able to replicate. Hold up. Let's turn the speed. 200. Let's get that turbo on. And let's see if I can replicate that again because it looks so cool, dude. All right. So we just take the shark, run it into the edge. Okay. It's actually really hard to do that. I got really lucky with that glitch on stream, actually. But there's something you can do where it looks like you caught the shark and it looks so cool. And I was also trying to cook the shark. So let's see if I can cook the shark. Oh, I was almost on land. Okay, okay. Let's 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 cook the shark, dude. We're cooking the shark. Alright, now we come here. Get our prompts out there. Get a good on prompts. Let's put our uh well cooking thing. Oh, -ho! yes, 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 shark, shark, shark. No, no, no. Oh, my God, dude, the shark got away. <laughs> All right, so we got to carefully put him up uh, on the fire. No, sir, you got to go on the fire right there, right there. Cook that fin up. Cook the fin up right there. Shark fin soup. Wait, do we only eat the top part of the fins or the second? Dude, first off, I don't really agree with eating shark fin soup. Why are you cutting just the fins of the shark off like that, dude? It's kind of messed up, but um, that'd be the case. We got some shark food cooking up here. As I say that, and I cook a whole shark, whatever, dude. Whatever, shut your mouth. Um, we got a we got a green shark. Yes, he looks mutated and contaminated and everything in between, but I think he's gonna be darn delicious. We got shark burgers. 
Oh my god, dude. I wanted my shark burgers. Hold up. Give me, give me, give me my shark burgers. Oh my god, dude. What's the way? Hold up. Let me just go grab one. Shark burger. What you know about it, dude? Now, I do think shark meat has high levels of mercury and other things that if you eat large amounts of it, you will probably die. So be careful if you eat shark for real, for real. Um, and uh, it, it, yeah. <laughs> so that be the case. Now we want to look at the bigger shark, the bigger, 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 bigger shark. Okay. So that's what we want to do now. Let's go down here and let's spawn him in. He is bigger. Now he's not a megalodon. People said on stream that a megalodon is like a hundred times bigger than this. So maybe he is just like, that's like a normal size shark. And this is like a great white shark. Ooh, he looks mean. So uh, we can actually change the color of him. Let's make him kind of brown. And you will see that he has a pattern. He's striped. So uh, maybe, it, it, or, or, isn't the tiger shark like striped like that, actually? Um, I'm not sure. Doesn't tiger sharks have like a stripe on them? I don't know. There is a shark that does have a, a, a rather pattern, but honestly, if I'm being honest, guys, that looks like the tiger shark over there, the, the small one. Then you have a bull shark, which is maybe bigger than a tiger shark. Um, I don't know. Shark size guide. Okay, guys, let me check the size of these sharks here. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the great white shark is actually the biggest, you know, because we don't got megalodon. So this would be a great white for sure, I think. And that's going to just be like a one of the normal sharks. I mean, hammerhead sharks are even smaller than you expect. I think there are just like a, a, a great hammerhead shark, which is about the size of a great white, but not quite. But yeah, so I, w I would say... In comparison, the smaller shark is a tiger shark, and this one is a great white shark. Now, a megalodon compared to a, 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 a megalodon shark 